What's going on guys? It is X Factor Xbox here with my first episode of the Detroit Lions Madden 20 franchise. So what today I'll be today I, what I will be doing in this episode I'll just go I'll just do a quick roster review and then look at the sliders and then we'll look at our uh, schedule. You can see the first like games of the week two on there, but let's just go ahead and look at the roster. Here. So at quarterback we have Matthew Stafford. Backup is Jeff Driscoll. Third stringer is Kyle Sloter. And fourth string quarterback is David Blau. Now um Matt Stafford is 31. He has a huge contract, which I don't know how we're gonna get that off the books, but we're gonna try our best, you know, to maximize um his average potential here while he, you know, so decent overall. Our running back, we have Carrion Johnson from Auburn here. He's a, I, re I really like Carrion Johnson. He is more of a uh, power back. Um, then we have a receiving elusive back, and we have another power back, and then elusive, and then um, a power. So we got some elusive guys and a power guy, and a receiving guy and J.D. McKissick. Now let's go ahead here and look at the fullback. It is Nick Bowden um, from San Diego State. We look at the wide receivers. We have Kenny Galladay, our best receiver, probably gonna be receiver for a long time here for Detroit Superstar Development. Second string, we have the former Cincinnati Bengal, Marvin Jones Jr. Um, I think he, I, I really, I really liked him at Cincinnati. Then they, um, I think they cut him or something, or traded him or something like that. Like the lines or something. He, you know, he's pretty good. I'd say he's more of a deep threat. Deep threat type of receiver, and then you, they have some decent receivers, but three of their four good receivers are going to be gone by a year or two. Like uh, Marvin Jones and Danny Amendola and Jermaine Curse. We have Marvin Hall, we have Travis Fulgham, or Fulgham, he could be a good, um, you know, depth receiver here. And tight end, we have the tight end out of. Uh, Iowa, TJ Hawkinson, um, you know, I'm an Iowa fan, and I really like this pick because, you know, he's from Iowa, and he's really good. Uh, I think he should be a little bit better of a blocker, if I'm just, just saying. I think he should be a better of a blocker, more of a threat. We have Jesse James from, um, who's formerly a Steeler, that Logan Thomas, the former Virginia Tech quarterback, Isaac Nada. And Don Mobach. And then our offensive line. Our offensive line, I wouldn't say is great. I'd say it's it's a decent offensive line. We have Taylor Decker, who's still, who's still 25 years old and can develop. Let me... I have to turn the volume down here. There we go. Now I'll just... There we go. So we got 20. On um, my left guard, we got Joe Dahl, Andy Wiggins, and Caleb Benedock. I think um, Joe Dahl is easily replaceable. Um, Frank Ragnow, probably the brightest spot on the offensive line. And then you got Bo ben Benchwell from Wisconsin. Um, Graham Glasgow, who's more under the team, but, you know, I don't know if he'll be back. He's, he's, he's a decent overall player. And then you have Rick Wagner, Tyrell Crosby, and then Skipper. Left ends, we have two two good left ends, but Deshaun Hand, I'm pretty sure, is going to be starting because, you know, he's younger and I want him to develop. We have the Diesel, Matt Daniels from Iowa, the rookie Austin Bryant and Frank Heron. Uh, right end, um, we they paid big money for Trey Flowers to come over from the Patriots. And then um, a good rotational player in Romeo Quara. Defensive tackle, we had Damon Harrison, who I think they cut in real life, but in this... In this universe, we're not really going to be cutting them. And we got a decent back. We got a good back between Ayrshon Robinson, who I think has star development. I see he does have star development. Um, Darius Kilgo, Kevin Strong, and John Atkins. Uh, the lineman core is probably the weakest spot on this entire team. We got Devon Kennard, who's uh, 28 and is not the best linebacker. But you got some bright spots in the linebacker core. And Jelani Tavai, the rookie. You also got Gerard Davis. No, he's only 23. So our line, middle linebacker core is pretty young. The oldest guy is 24. So we have 
bright futures at the linebacker spot. Rutt's linebacker um, is not good. Chris Jones with a terrible contract um, for his overall and for his age in Madden. Um, corner, we have Darius Big Play Slay. He got our number one corner who got traded to the Eagles, but in this universe, I'm not going to be trading him. Um, you got Justin Coleman, who's a pretty good player, 26 years old. Um, then you got Rashawn Melvin, um, who's okay. And then I think he's going to be pretty good. Amani Aquarie from Penn State. Um, we're going to focus train him. And then you got Mike Ford, Michael Jackson, senior. Jamal Agnew, who's a American kicking partner, trainer. And D. Virgin. At free safety, we have Tracy Walker, who's a pretty young player, pretty good young player. Miles Killebrew, CJ Moore, strong safety. We have the veteran Tavon Wilson, and another guy I'm gonna focus train in Will Harris. At kicker, we have Matt Prater. Pretty good. He has pretty good kick power and pretty good kick accuracy. And you got the veteran Sam Martin. And we have a first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh round draft pick. So there was just a quick overview of the roster. Now let's go ahead and look at the XP sliders that I have. So those are the sliders. I have quarterbacks at 95, halfbacks at 125, tight ends at 150, wide receivers um, at 125, pullbacks at 115, tackles at 145, guards at 135, centers at 165, defensive ends at 140, defensive tackles at 170, middle linebackers 95, outside linebackers 98, um, cornerbacks 95, strong free safeties 107, and strong safeties 106, and kickers and punters um, are just kept the same. I uh, got these XP sliders from T Dog XP sliders, so if you wanna, you wanna check out, they're the exact same sliders. But um, now we're gonna go to the gameplay sliders, which I got from, I don't remember what his YouTube channel is called. It's, I think it's Jacob Re. No, it's, I don't remember what the name is, but. Um, those are the uh, gameplay sliders, 40 quarterback accuracy, 55 pass block, 48 super catching, 50 run block, 70 fumble, um, 50 on uh, defense direct time, 55 interceptions, interception, um, pass coverage is 50, tackling is 55, CPU skill quarterback accuracy is 35, pass blocking is 54, receiver catching is 47, run blocking is 55, fumbles uh, is 50, Pass defense reaction time is 50, interceptions is 45, pass coverage is 50, and tackling is 45, field goal power is 50, um, field goal accuracy is 45, pump power is 47, punt accuracy is 45, kickoff power is 52, injuries are at 35, fatigue is at 55, Min minimal, minimum player speed threshold 40, offside 52, ball start 51, foot holding 52, base mass 45, defense pass interference 55, Offensive pass interference on, kick interference on, illegal block on the back because at 52, intentional grounding is on, roughing the pass is 51, roughing the kicker is on. Sorry if you guys see a little bit of a cut, I got a call. So let's go ahead and continue. Now we're going to go over the um, schedule here, the league schedule, or the team schedule. So our preseason, we have the New England Patriots. So it's in the, it's the Detroit Patriots versus the New England Patriots. Here's why I call them the Detroit Patriots because they brought in so many Patriots players. Because Matt Patricia was, I think, the offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator. He's one of the coordinators for the Patriots. And, you know, he wants to bring in some of the Patriots players. So that's why they're called the Detroit Patriots instead of the Detroit Lions. Um, they got the Texans, Bills, and Cleveland Browns. We look at regular season, we have the Arizona Cardinals facing Kyler Murray. We have the Los Angeles Chargers, Philadelphia Eagles, Kansas City Chiefs. And then in week five, we have a pretty early bye week here. We got our division rival, Green Bay Packers, and another division game right after that one. And it's the Minnesota Vikings. We got the New York Giants, Oakland Raiders, um, Chicago Bears, who are going to be kind of scary to face because of Khalil Mack. So... It's going to be a really tough one. Cowboys, uh, Redskins, which I don't know if it's going to be that hard. It's going to be kind of easy. Chicago Bears, Minnesota Vikings, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They don't have Tom Brady, so we don't have to worry about that one. The Denver Broncos and the Green Bay Packers to finish out the um, regular season. So, um, yeah, that's basically Oh, just wait. I have to show you guys the auto subs. So... 
those are the auto subs. What auto subs does, I think it like like if a player gets tired in between a play, they sub out like um like let's say an offensive line, like a receiver gets tired or something like that, they sub out that receiver and put in a depth receiver, which I think it makes it more fun because like if Marvin Jones gets tired, then um, Travis Fulgham goes in like goes off, and then he's like a future receiver or something like that. I don't know. Um, the quarterbacks don't really get subbed out at all. Um, so, and then the defense, those are the, um, I think those are the base ones. Those are the base ones. Yeah, I switched. Alright, never mind, those aren't the sliders, because I switched teams. Because I was the Bengals, I wanted to test how these sliders were. And then, I, so I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do this, so, just completely ignore what I just showed you. Um, so, yeah, that is a look. We'll also look at some of the salaries. Highest paid player is going to be Damon Harrison. Um, you can see how many years is remaining. Um, like, like we're going to have to Demi Andola, Mike Daniels, your main curse. So, those are some of the guys we're going to have to pay if you want to retain them. But, um, some, of, some of the bad contracts um, are... So the bad contract, um, the um, Matt Stafford world is pretty bad. It's it's really bad. Um, I'd say the Martin Jones one isn't ideal either. Um, Trey Flowers one is kind of expensive, but you know he's an edge rusher. So what do you expect? Edge rushers are going to get paid a um, pretty good amount of money. I'm already to practice, so yeah. So that was just a quick overview of the team the sliders and our um, upcoming schedule so I will upload uh, where I play all the preseason games tomorrow at maybe at around this time I won't be playing the entire game I'll just do play the moments um, because if I could I could stream it on mixer I don't know I haven't decided yet if I want to stream it on mixer um, for some reason my stream is 18 and up which I don't get why but it is so if you're you're gonna have to be signed in to watch that and, yeah, which is kind of dumb. I don't know why. But anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow where we will start the preseason.